Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome back to Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. Today we're going to try out a scenario called Mental Disorder Overload by... Acetal? Acetal? Koa? Huh? So obviously mental disorders are no joke, these are very serious. I have several people who are close to me in my, uh, my life who actually have some form of a disorder one way or another. Um, but this could be an interesting concept for a scenario. It features several mental disorders including depression, anxiety, OCD, panic disorder, and manic disorder. There are a lot of them. This is a prion. Okay, that kind of makes sense, actually. A prion is a, a protein. Um, I think it mostly affects the brain, right? That's where it lodges itself. So that kind of is a good representation of mental disorder. Sure. Why not? Catalytic switch, genetic mimic, oxidized hemophile, and transtasis. Mm, do I want that? Eh, yeah, yeah, I guess we'll go with it. Normal difficulty, and it's called the breakdown. Welcome to this scenario. You will infect humans with great amounts of distress. If you're experiencing difficulties in real life, it is important to seek help. Yes, totally agree. If you are finding yourself in a dark place and you can't control your thoughts or they're going in a negative direction, you think you might be in danger or at least need help in some way, then by all means, reach out and seek some professional help. I highly, highly recommend it. I've had a therapist for years. I don't even have like a diagnosed disorder. It's just it's a very helpful thing, I think, for actually processing your thoughts out and trying to work out your issues before they become a toxic buildup. Now, where are we going to start? Um, I don't usually start in Australia. Let's try starting in Australia. That could be kind of fun. Not trying to make any particular commentary about the Australians down there, but they're fun folks. All right, transmission. What do we have? We've got exporting sadness. Uh, increases the air and sea transmission. How? I don't know. Rain of blue. Da ba dee da ba die. Increases infectivity, especially in humid countries, but less effective in the arid countries. Okay, I guess. Corpse. Corpse has become one of the transmission factors. Why? Because corpses are depressing. That's why. Drought dread. Increased effectivity in arid environments, and only in the arid environments. It's not allowed to affect anywhere else, just the desert. Depression memes makes a relatable feeling which spreads the sadness. Increases infectivity, especially in the rich countries. Actually, legit. Yes, this is a thing I've observed. It's one of the reasons we've kind of banned a lot of that in the Discord server is it's just it's either edgy or it's just kind of toxic effectively in what it does. Not usually that it comes from people in a bad place. Like, it is just kind of them trying to either be ironic or relatable in some way. I don't think there's a malevolent intent there at all. But it often ends up having a negative impact on people. So, yeah, this is a thing. This is a very much a thing on the internet. Body fluids gives organism ability to spread through body fluids. This is an organism? I thought it was just a disorder. All right. Verbal influence. Sadness can spread through verbal conversations, increasing infectivity in the urban countries. Okay, and media. Depressing news are broadcasted through media's increasing infectivity. I'm not going to lie. I've been feeling a bit depressed myself lately, in part because from media and social media and just news media, everything is so depressing around me. It sucks. Symptoms. We've got pessimism. Always think on the dark side of life. But up. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. It's, I'm, not, I'm not sure that's exactly where people were going here, but I, I, I want to think that it was a Monty Python reference, so we're going to go with it. Insomnia, shyness, afraid of people, decreasing infectivity, but harder to cure. Stress, causes distress, compulsive behavior, do certain things, or else they feel anxious or uncomfortable. And then we have substance abuse. Oh, yeah, this is where you start crossing a line from just kind of like I'm a bit stressed out to... I've got a serious freaking problem. Victim abuses the usage of substances like alcohol and drugs. Basically anything that gives you an escape. Then we have abilities. Seasonal depression. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a very interesting way to put this. But yeah, that's a thing. Totally a thing. Heat resistance. The bright sun reminds them of how happy they used to be. <laughs> which suppresses them when they realize that they used to be happy. Genetic hardening. Okay, no drug resistance that I can see. And neural atrophy. All right. Well, that took four minutes just to get through all that stuff. I mean, it's always good to see a lot of customization. I can't be sad about that. Um, so let's see. Australia is a wealthy, urban, arid region. And is that a boat? I hope that's a boat. Yes, it's a boat. Okay, I thought there was a new symbol here, and I was about to be very confused. Um, let's go for Drought Dread, and then probably Verbal Influence. I don't know. I mean, it, it's, er er it's arid, and this is supposed to really affect the arid countries, right? So, I mean, maybe it's super duper good in Australia? Maybe? We really need some more severity and stuff, though. Um, let's go for Stress. That should help a little bit. I was originally thinking this was just going to be a reskin of all the base uh, symptoms, but it does look like it actually has been retweaked as far as how it affects your numbers, as well as a different path. So this is actually customized, which is great. I love seeing lots of customization in there. Very glad to see it. 
Uh, do we want to go for the overthinking? We could go for the substance abuse. We could go for insomnia. Go for pessimism. Let's go for the substance abuse, the extra infectivity, and the severity. Both of which are good. I just really need to get a lot more bubbles, a lot more DNA from these bubbles. Actually, we need to get out of Australia. Uh, starting in an island, generally speaking, stupid idea. Stupid, stupid idea. But we're going to do it anyway. Because, I mean, eh. People say that starting in Saudi Arabia is boring. You're not wrong. But, I mean, like, it's effective. Uh, all right, let's go for the verbal influence. That should be pretty decent. We just need to hop on a plane or a boat and get the heck out of Dodge. That's all we got, though. Um, anything I can have for with symptoms? No. Nope, just gotta sit back and wait for a little bit longer. That's fine. I can wait. I can wait. Just gonna kill my score. That's all. Ugh. My, my throat is feeling really freaking filled out right now. It's pretty terrible. Um, been working pretty hard lately. I'm, I'm trying really hard to get enough recording done that I can spend a little bit of time going and spending a, a day with my dad for Father's Day this last weekend here. And, uh, yeah, so that means I have to get ahead on all my work, but as you may have noticed from this week's upload schedule, it's been a lot of one-off videos, a little bit weird, and those do take a lot of time for me to record, so I've been working, oh, I don't know, for the last eight hours or more, um... Uh, on my on my uh, Friday afternoon. I mean, it's like 3 in the morning right now, so I'm a bit tired and my voice sounds terrible, so I apologize if that is in fact the case and you're picking up on that. Severe withdrawal symptoms. Well, I don't want the lethality quite yet. Um, we could go for the pessimism and stuff, overthinking, anxiety. Let's go for anxiety. That's pretty darn good. Panic. Frequent panic attacks causes trouble and distress. Potentially lethal. Rarely? Yeah, I could see that. Obsession, severe damage to orbital cortex triggers OCD. Is that actually what it is? Is it is it slightly da a slightly damaged uh, orbital cortex that causes OCD, or is it something else? I have no idea. No idea. I've never actually looked into what actually triggers OCD. Um, let's go for let's go for the media for the rural countries. We want corpse transmission, but once we actually have a meaningful amount of lethality, seems we're actually spreading fairly well all of a sudden. Let's go for the verbal influence for even more urban country transmission. That should be pretty good in Europe and the United States. Uh, we need more DNA. I need more severity. Let's go for the withdrawal symptoms. We'll get some lethality now. Always a little risky to do that, but I'm okay with it. I think we might be okay. Uh, recursive thoughts. Victims have recursive thoughts with increasing frequency, very severe, and can cause suicidal thoughts. Mm hmm Okay. Let's go for the insomnia that leads to paranoia and energetic. Victims become energetic, making them easier to approach. I'll take that infectivity. Uh, yeah, I guess that's leading to mania, right? That's the thing about, like, mania. Like, I think a lot of people think that mental disorders usually resort in things that are, uh, depressive. But it's like, it's, it could be either one. It could be depressive, or it could be manic. And freight, in fact, we just got mania for free. Now, if you have both depressive and maniac episodes, and they just kind of fluctuate a lot, well, that's just called bipolar uh, syndrome, or bipolar depression in some cases. Uh, insanity. Neuropathic action of the pathogen in the frontal cortex causes severe emotional and behavioral abnormalities significantly harder to cure, also way more severity than I can deal with. Uh, let's go for the exporting of sadness and also the depression memes for the rich countries. We're not spreading very fast in places like uh, Europe, so I just want to go a little bit faster. Also, any more boat transmission will help me get into places that I need. Um, let's go for the seasonal depressive disorder. Don't know if I need this right now. We do need to start thinking about ramping up lethality. Uh, because remember, prions are slow to react. Now, let's see. We are not quite at critical mass to get into the Caribbean, though we should be soon. We're not quite at critical mass in order to get into the Caribbean. That's my primary concern right now. So let's go for media two that leads to bad news travels fast. Bad news always travels faster, making people feel negative about the future. Yep. Bad news, man. I mean, it partly, again, is... I, I think I mentioned this in a previous uh, video, but... Uh, it's probably due to social media, which is an attention contest in a lot of ways. It's mostly just who can get like, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm saying things, and that includes infamy and bad news. It's why bad news or fake news or depressive news gets more clicks and more attention. Like, every time. It's honestly depressing in and of itself, but we fall for that. I'm gonna go for the bad news travels fast, the rain of blue, and then the corpse transmission, just so we have that uh, available. And I'm gonna hold on to some DNA. I'm not really worried about the cure this second. But I want to have plenty of DNA working for me so we can get into... There we go. Both the Caribbean and Greenland. Perfect. Let's go for the... Toxication. Victim's body is intoxicated with a substance they were addicted to. Can be fatal. Uh, insanity is not lethal. Panic. Could be okay. Social anxiety. Um, okay. 
recursive thoughts, paranoia, pessimism. That's going to get me a lot of lethality. Let's go for panic. That leads to gut brain axis damage. Never heard of this one. Microbiota. Uh, microbiota? Okay. A change in body causes severe damage in gut brain axis, increasing infectivity and severity. Fascinating. Uh, we'll go for the social anxiety. That did nothing. Let's go for the gut brain. That leads to dysentery. A complex breakdown of the digestive system. I mean, what? That's where you get so stressed that you basically give yourself horrible ulcers or something? I mean, that's a thing, believe it or not. Like, you can be so stressed out that you uh, <laughs> that you can like give yourself ulcers and have serious digestive problems. It's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, let's go ahead and grab things like paranoia and hallucinations. I want to start slowing down the cure a little bit. Aggression could be pretty helpful, I suppose. But the cure is going to be ramping up pretty quick, and we're... We're a little slow on the uh, the uptake as far as lethality. Actually, there's a lot of things that stress can do to the body. It's really kind of amazing uh, how much we overlook that. Stress can cause hives and immune responses. Uh, it can actually just weaken your immune system in general and make you uh, just susceptible to all sorts of different problems as far as um, as far as like uh, opening yourself up to other diseases and such. Uh, heck, even the uh, the story in the New Testament for uh, Jesus Christ with sweating blood before he was crucified, there actually is a scientific basis on that thing, which I hadn't known until like the last few years. But like, you literally can sweat blood just from stress. Extreme levels of stress. Isn't that freaking terrifying? I don't know, it freaking terrifies me, jeez. The human body is an incredible machine, but it is also shockingly delicate. And there are a lot of ways for things to go wrong. To the point where even if nothing's wrong except that you feel like something's wrong, something can go wrong. Just absolutely crazy. Uh, let's go over some neural atrophy, a couple levels of that. I'm just trying to slow down the cure at this point. I didn't see a lot of other options as far as getting more lethality. We already have the aggression. I guess suicidal thoughts would help. Yeah, if I had 28 points, we would go for that. But mostly I want to make sure that we are staying on top of that cure while we let our lethality tick up. It's a reasonable amount of lethality. It can carry us to victory. It's just waiting for the prion to ramp up properly. But it looks like we're starting to get there until a nuke went off in Sweden. Holy crud. What'd you do, Sweden? Oh, no. <laughs> Notch downloaded a mod for Minecraft and they blew up. Ah, uh, that's a bad joke. I don't know. What else is Sweden really known for? Paradox Interactive, PewDiePie, Ikea, Meatballs, and Minecraft's developer. That's that's the thing. It's a noble country with a rich history, but pop culture, you know, can only do so much. Major Depressive Disorder. Now, that would be helpful. Very dangerous in the cold regions, apparently. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and pick that up. And then there's just outright suicide. So we have the thoughts, we have Depressive Disorder, and then we have actual suicide. Then we have Bipolar Disorder. There it is! Victim lives on two edges, causing distress not only to themselves, but to others around them as well. Yep, that's the thing. I actually uh, know somebody who was uh, bipolar. Um, it was kind of scary and upsetting, I'm not going to lie. Things could change very suddenly. <laughs> very suddenly. Oh, gosh, it gives me freaking anxiety just thinking about it. All right, well, now at this point, we just sort of sit back and wait. Um, we could buy other things, I suppose. I'm just going to go ahead and do some genetic reshuffles and buy some score. Not a whole lot more we can do. I'm just gonna go ahead and start speeding up a little bit here. And there we go. The breakdown has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. A nefarious, loose, rogue protein that gave everyone some form of mental disorder until the whole world died. A horrible, lonely death. Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I want to make jokes, but I mean, it's again, it's hard for me to do that when I've known people who've gone through that stuff. 777 days. I do like seeing the triple sevens there. I should, I, I should. Where's my, where's my slot machine prize? Huh? Triple sevens. Sevens in a row. 29% cure progress. 31,763 points. One star. Mainly because it took so stinking long. Uh, balance wise, the scenario is pretty okay. It could use a few more options to ramp up that lethality, but otherwise isn't too bad. I do like how much customization there is here. Um, and, of course, the topic is certainly something worthy of Play Gink. It's, again, a very serious topic, and I'm not trying to make light of it in any way, shape, or form, but, you know, uh, it works. So, I mean, all in all, um, it's pretty good. I'm tr I feel like something's missing on it, and I'm I think maybe it just needs to be able to go faster, and that would be better. But overall, like, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's got so much going for it. I think I have to give this one a thumbs up, absolutely. Not bad at all. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and end things here. Thank you all very much for watching. Again, I remind you, if you are having any sort of mental issues yourself, I do encourage you guys to go seek help. It really does make a difference. Other than that, though, if you enjoyed this video, I would encourage you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>